And after 51 games a season ago, the Miami Heat were 37 and 14, which is exactly what the reigning champs were heading into play Tuesday night. But at this point a year ago, LeBron James and company were in the midst of that 27 game winning streak en route to the NBA's best record. Now to match that 66 and 16 mark this season, they'd have to go 29 and 2 the rest of the way. The first night back to work after the All-Star break found the heat in Dallas. And we go to American Airlines Center to watch LeBron James and company. This is a nice pass right here. It always oh, seems that like Wayne nice Wade play. knows how to find it. It's like Joe Montana and Jerry Rice. Mario Chalmers or, steal. Or Steve Young. To Jerry, Jerry Rice. Rice. I'm not going to say it again. This is a. Oh, wow. I mean, it's just. And this just is powerful. Emmett Smith just running down. <laughs> and. That and this, you, see, no you see him running into or... Vince Carter right here. There you oh, go. Bang. Oh, that hurt. There you go. That's uh, Mean Joe Green. Yeah. You like that? Yeah, that was better. Okay. I like that. Pittsburgh still. Thank you. Vince held his fire like he wanted to toss that ball back. Dirk Nowitzki, all star again. Bang. Knocks down that jumper. Two point game. And then Jose Calderon has uh, got an open look at three and does not waste it. 74 to 68. Looking like the Mavs are going to take control. Uh oh, where's the help side? Weak side defense. <laughs> you might want to step in front of that. 74 70 at that point. Uh, and now. Uh oh, whoa. close the door. Somebody yeah. shut the Carter. shut the door. What's going Vince on? Carter said, I can do that. Wait, whoa. Will you please shut the door? Somebody. The winds can... must be strong in <laughs> Dallas. Tornado <tonight>. inside? <laughs> you know, Texas. <laughs> <laughs> Dallas up one going to the fourth. No air ball this time. Matter of fact, fact, give yeah. me a bonus. Yeah, let's let's try a four-point play on for size. Mavs got a 95-92 lead. But Anything then, you can do, I can do better. Yeah, he, LeBron took over the game at that point. Uh, 12 points in the fourth, uh -oh. and he would finish with 42. Oh, that's a season high for the King. Oh, and, uh, man. nice look to Birdman. Oh. Birdman, Birdman. That's close to it. <laughs> and uh, a 33 to 21 fourth quarter for Miami. Mm -hmm. That's the same movie did in the All Star game, except he dunked it. And then when he took it mm -hmm. from his right to his left in the air. 20th time this year, he's had at least 30. 42 is a season high. And uh, the Heat, of course, the, the best shooting team in the league, shoot 57% in this one. And now they get ready to take on the Thunder in OKC on TNT on Thursday. Here's a king. This time it's not only Durant, it's Durant and Westbrook likely coming back. How much more of a challenge is that when you first face them? Uh, it's definitely a challenge. I mean, uh, you know, you have to worry about one superstar, now you bring in another one, and another all-star. So, um, you know, it's going to be challenging for our defense. Um, he's an attack guy, and I know he's looking forward to coming back. He's going to use that unbelievable crowd that they have as, as a, you know, even more of a boost. And, you know, we'll be ready for it. You know, Spo and his coaching staff will give us a great game plan, and then we have to go execute it. LeBron said, uh, you, you said you were tired, obviously, coming out of the break a little bit. It didn't seem like that at all on the court. So I'm still tired. Still tired. Yeah, I'm, but I want, I'm on the court. I mean, if I'm, I mean, I'm on the court, and I got to try to make things happen. And, uh, you know, I got some, some 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 great rest as far as sleeping while I was here, uh, but I'm still tired, and uh, you know, but it, it feels good to be on the floor, you know. And if I'm on the floor, I have I can't have too many excuses, you know, to put on a performance for my team. So Miami wins at 117, 106. You ever, you know, you talk about the, the glaring weakness on that team, and that's that's rebounding. They are out rebounded 50 to 28 tonight by Dallas. And won the game by 11. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> talk to me about what you saw from Miami tonight. Well, I, I thought LeBron was just special because, you know, Chris Bosh played really well for him, but he kind of took the game over. And then defensively, they played much better than they have been playing in the past. They forced 16 turnovers in this game. And that's critical to their success. We know the formula last year. They're going to, if they lose a the rebound in battle, they're going to win the threes. They're going to typically win the free throw line. And then they're going to turn you over. <coughs> the scary thing is tonight, they didn't do that. They shot 57% and they held Dallas to 40. Dallas made more free throws. 
same amount of threes in essence, turn it over a few more times, but they were just so much more efficient and locked down defensively. I think LeBron is just so good right now. It's incredible. But, you know, being our rebound, it does worry me mm. uh, only because this is the only team in recent history that I can remember was so good that they could not have that statistic of out rebounding teams and win. I don't know if they can do it three times for a championship especially when you got guys like OKC, especially uh, when you have other teams that have those big fellas now, Indiana, they rebound and then they put it back and they will score. So I just don't like them giving up those extra possessions. Be interesting to see how it comes down to the stretch. Miami snaps the uh, Mavs three game home winning streak.